Hey, your head's Jeff with Gear Report. Let me show you what I've been working on here today with the Battle Wagon 3. First parts. Spent more time lately packaging parts to send to people than anything else. Uh, that's some 24 volt wheels and a seat and some other uh, radio antenna. Uh, here on the Battle Wagon 3, turn the light up. There we go. We have doors everywhere now. Still have that uh, single X door up there in the driver's position. Now we've got the soft doors on the back. What was holding me up before was I didn't have the strikers installed. So here's one that I bought. I was able to find the one that goes on the driver's side in the rear. All right, let's go look at this one on the other side. Hello, Santa. I was not able to find that one here. So I had found some wire and held it up to the one on the other side and bent my own. And honestly, I don't think it looks that much different than one on the other side. And it seems to work pretty well, so I'm kind of happy with that. All right. A uh, little trick if you're going to install those, just go ahead and pull that surround and then the three bolts there so that this whole thing comes out, the surround for the uh, fuel filler. And then you can reach right up in and get to the bolts that are on the back side holding that latch. On this side, you can see we got the little standard uh, front latch. So that is uh, that's part of what I did today. Here's something else. All right, so if we get in close, we can read this. You can see this is a Brentronics battery chargers for the PRC radio batteries. And that's exactly what it looks like here, although it's sitting upside down right now. But let's do this. Let's undo the latches. Oh, can I reach the other one? Fold it down, and what you'll see here on the inside, I gotta flip this panel, but uh, generally speaking, this side looks okay. That side has pretty much been gutted. All the stuff that is behind this panel here has been taken out as well. I took this whole heat sink off and there's nothing but empty space in there now. So I, you know what? Let me get in the from the back so that we can see a little better the size and how it fits on that uh, radio tray up there. I think that's actually gonna work out. You know, this was an experiment to see if it would fit. You would think that before I spent an hour and a half gutting all of the electronics, the battery charging stuff out of here, that I would have set it up in place first to make sure it fit okay. I didn't, but fortunately, I'm kind of digging how that fits. I think the stereo is gonna go in there because there's space back behind there. So I'll have plenty of room to, to put the little uh, fuse block I may even put the inverter in there. I'm gonna have to dig into this little power cord here coming up where when it went through D-mill, they just clipped that power cord. I'm gonna have to isolate each of the wires and splice some new leads in and bring them up to this power fitting in the back. And then that'll give me hot wires going in there so I can run all of my electrical for 12 volt, maybe even some 24 volt stuff. And I may even wire it into this switch here uh, just to turn everything on and off. We'll have to see, I'm not sure yet. Uh, of course, that means my cup holder gets moved, not sure where that's gonna go. But I'm really digging the idea that this has a nice rubber seal around it and uh, we'll be able to shut it when we're not using it so that the face of the radios and everything isn't obvious to people. So anyhow, that's what I've done today. I'm gonna try to do more of these short videos as we do little things here and there. I think one of the things that's coming up next, I really need to do some body mounts because I keep noticing little blue chunks of rubber in the driveway and in the garage where especially the body mount that is 
It's under around this area somewhere up underneath. What the forward kind of midsection on the right passenger side, that body mount absolutely falling apart. I've got new ones, so those are going to be installed soon. Stick around. We'll have some more updates for you in the coming days. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments. A big thanks to our patrons for helping us bring you more unbiased, hands-on reviews. Thank you very much, and we'll see you at the range. Thank you.